hello 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 welcome 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 this is Gina with Bijou Noir family I want to uh, thank you guys this, I see that I have um, gotten uh, 400 um, and one subscribers um, very excited um, it's definitely um, you know uh, a good number we're going there we're getting there um, I got to get a couple of you know quite a few more to get where I need to get but I definitely wanted to take the time to thank you guys and to ask you to please share uh, the videos as much as you can uh, so we could have some more uh, family up in here and uh, more subscribers and uh, like hit the notification button so you you'll know when I uh, post a new video okay guys I'm gonna dig right in I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, something that I was just you know I was watching a YouTube video um, uh, I forget his name uh, but uh, he was talking to, about something that got my attention um, you know we always talk about Europe and you know America and you know white supremacy um, but in all actuality um, there's not a place on this earth that black people uh, stand you know there's not a place that we are in that we do not face racism it's sad to say that we even face it on the continent of Africa um, where we are from and we need to take a good look at that there's something um, happening to us um, and it's something that we are allowing to happen and I, I'm starting to think it's it's our mindset it's the way we think um, do we do we do we think we're less than uh is it something that you know you know how they say you know animals could smell when you're afraid um are other humans responding to us because they could sense that we don't love ourselves that we are not confident in ourselves is that what um make us uh accessible to um, all the bigotry and all the hate and and um, so that being said you know we really need to uh, take a look at history and um, and see what you know was that and has that always been where we have gone wrong is there anything we can do um, in the present to change the dynamics I'm starting to think that we we can definitely change this with the with our thinking um, our pattern our thinking pattern has a lot to do with um, how people see us you know how do we see ourselves do you feel good about the person you are do you, when you look at yourself do you feel good about these things that you have the other people the the, 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 the your nose the complexion the hair all of that you know when you think about the racism that we face as a people um, throughout the world it has to be a reflection on, on how we feel about ourselves there's no there's no way around it um oh are you gonna join me over here put the mic on three <laughs> come on come on in and join me I'm over here all right well I'm not taping yet but oh, it would be you, nice are you live i'm not live oh okay. i'm just videotaping but since you're in the voice you might as well come on that beautiful handsome man of mine don't like to come on video but going back to the topic eric what do you think do you think the problem overall is our lack of confidence the way we see ourselves because okay we talk about white supremacy and we talk about you know how white supremacy is the reason that we're facing everything we're facing but we're not just facing racism from white people we face racism from everyone including ourselves do you agree with that it's just the it's just something that I've been thinking about I was like you know well okay so why look at it like this I, I think that I'm sorry I didn't mean to uh, cut you off I look at it like this I think that racism is the uh, issue that we see as a result of a primary primarily a moral issue follow me here not letting the white people off the hook but if you look at why we haven't been able to succeed in our own countries post-colonialism or even after we've 
want independence or even when we have a city that will have a black mayor or even when we had a black president how many people were still getting killed mm -hmm. the reason why racism exists and the reason why it's able to continue to exist is because of people's greed people we are selling each other out over it if we look at the biggest event that happened in history in terms of the transatlantic slave trade right why was that able to even exist our brothers and sisters greed on the continent and white people's greed and that greed came together even if we look at a place like haiti which had a very successful independence could be a very successful place the land is very fertile they could grow their own rice grow their own food feed everybody in the country with the resources that they have there and yet they're not able to do that because they have leadership that constantly sells them out and it's the same thing that's happening on the african continent the african continent is the the most uh wealthy continent in terms of natural resources agreed yet the people starve why are there starving people where we have land that feeds that could feed is feeding the world africa literally feeds the world but it's not feeding africans so why is that able to happen because of people's greed and the leadership is selling out the the quote-unquote little man and this is this has been our our problem if we don't conquer that greed demon that jealousy demon then that's going to allow not only racism to exist it's going to it's going to give it the environment to thrive because they'll always be able to come to the leader and so, and, and have them sell you out or they'll always be able to put someone in leadership like they do in a lot of these countries and they'll have them sell you out most of these most of these so-called leaders on the african continent and not to get too political but they aren't actually uh leading the the people I they're say, proxies for the colonizers i you said know? on my last video that i feel like they're hostage leader, leaders yeah like they only they're only allowed to be leaders if they could be puppets exactly. so they're be they're basically hostage leaders Look they're not the they're not really um, like thomas sankara what did yeah. they do when he stood up against um i believe it was either the belgium or the french i'm going to say it was the french because i remember him speaking french mm -hmm. it was the french it was the french he stood up against the french in four years he made his small country burkina faso self-sufficient how did he do that he eliminated the greed they could only drive a certain type of car they could only wear a certain type of garments they had to uh wear the garments that were made in burkina faso mm -hmm. they had to eat the food that was made in burkina faso and he eliminated that that greed element as much as he could but what did the french do they hollered at his best friend had him knocked off killed and put into an unmarked grave and then <laughs> they reinstituted the same thing where they used um i guess his name is I think his name is Blaze Compile. They put Blaze Compile in in power in Burkina Faso and kept the same thing going until the people got tired of it. And now he had to get um, ex had to go into exile, but he got to keep his life. But why do we sell out? Why do we? Okay, if it's not a thing where that's what I was talking about earlier. I was I was speaking about what I was speaking about was the fact that okay, we don't just face ra racism from white people. Or white supremacy we fa face racism all over the world and the worst part is we face it from each other it's a it's a greed element that really instituted the system but how come racism? it affects us more than it affects any other race there's greed in china there's <coughs> greed in india there's greed in all those places but those what, people tend to in the end of the day they get teamed up i'm gonna tell you what happened what, what I, how i look at it and that, and there could be somebody that can expound on it Right. Deeper. Maybe you but, guys want to get in the comments, um, you know, when I post this video and give us uh, what your opinions are. It's a little weird that he's talking for me from over here, but I'm going to post this. Camera. But I'm going <laughs> to post this. <laughs> he don't like being on camera, y'all. Okay. So, if you think about it, right? What what white people did in this country? Remember, we were watching that documentary about the Civil War, right? And they were talking about the confederacy which represents the south right and the only way that the confederate soldiers could get out of being drafted into the confederate army one of the requirements was that you had to have 20 slaves 
Right. And they knew that most of these guys didn't have 20 slaves, and they really weren't really benefiting directly from the culture of slavery. Right. I mean, it may have got, got them a little job, but it wasn't really... They didn't have 20 slaves. They weren't really selling cotton across the world and being international So the only way that they can get out of having to go to war was to have 20 to slaves. To have 20 slaves. Now, mind you, that would wow. be the super elite of the South. Mm -hmm. Most of them were not on that level. So they ended up fighting for the South. But what did they do? They created this little... They created a culture of ignorance, a culture of hate. Right. Telling them that black people are this, black people are that. They gave them somebody to look down on. But really, if it wasn't for black people, they would be the niggas. That they would be oppressing here. It's just that black people had to be here. So they, I mean, they brought black people here. And so they used poor whites as like a buffer class, but created this illusion of hate. And then told them, look, I mean, you're not, you're not, you know, you're not like us. You're not the super elite. You don't have 20 slaves. You're going to have to go fight this war, but you're not like them niggas. And so that is the illusion that they created for them. And so a lot of them have brought into us. It. I understand that because that is basically what basically they're saying. This is your wealth. You get to be over this, t this man. You get to be over the black man. Yeah, you're but, poor. You're a poor white man. But guess what? You're richer than he is. But you're it's more an illusion. important than he is. But it's an illusion. So that's what they sell to the poor dog, white man. I'm sure a dog, though. That's it's, what they sell to the poor white man. Yes. What is it in the dynamics with us where you're in a black country, be it Haiti, be it Jamaica, be it Africa, it's you're in a black greed. continent, and then you're still feeling like I'm better than this person? It's the greed. And then the fact that these people sell you the same illusion. Because remember, they made you the king now. So you're not like those dusty niggas in Africa. You could come over here and you're have not access. Like them. You're better right, than your them. Your family is going to have access to our schools. When you get sick, you can come over here and have access to you're our medicine. You're not like them. You're better than them. It's a than classism them. game. It's mainly classism, but the racism element is there. They'll use it to play on it when they when they need it. That's the illusion that they created over over here. So but okay, there, let me let me classism. slow down. The classism is underlying the racism because we know that there are there is true racism that I, there is true racism i'm not denying that right but so I'm what saying, do you think comes first game. classism or racism i think money comes first wow i think money they enslave <laughs> their own people the word slave comes from the word slav which refers to an eastern european person so if, there wasn't a mo if there wasn't a money system do you think there'd be a lot of racism? If there wasn't a money system, there's no way they would have even had any interest in, in bringing black people over here. From Africa. They brought black people over here for economics, and black people were sold over here for Same reason why the they stopped slavery here. Why Why Abraham, you know, why, why he went to, you know, the Union went, you know, against the Confederate because of, it wasn't about freeing the slaves, it was about... I think it was about keeping the It was about country. keeping the economic power because they saw that the South w had the slaves and they were making money. Anytime you have free labor, you're going to kill. And they didn't have that going on in the North. No. So it was about balancing it out. Anytime you have free labor, you're going you're gonna to kill. Now, I don't look at Lincoln as such a bad guy. Yeah, Lincoln. I, I don't know. I don't he know said he would have free. He said if he could have won the union, won the thing without having to free the slaves, he would have. It didn't matter yes. to him either way. He made statements like he made statements like that, but he made statements. I believe that statement he made. He was in a debate. Remember, he had to win the presidency. Right. The country was divided. It's a whole racist country. He was in a debate with somebody that was trying to paint him as in the corner as like a nigger lover. So he he made he had to make statements to to get elected. I'm not saying Lincoln is a saint, but they killed him for a reason. And I, you know, he had respect for Frederick Douglass. There's a couple other black I people. I mean, they killed, they, they killed, um, what's his name? JFK? And he did, I mean, he wasn't, he, he was, wasn't a he's saint. a lot like, um, um, Abraham Lincoln in a way, because he basically, uh, you know, I don't really care for them, but I really care. You know, people we gotta can, get elected yeah. in this country. And if yeah. you go too hard for black, you had a black president that acted like we didn't even exist. At least Abraham Lincoln did something and JFK did something. You had Obama that got gay people married, looked out for everything and act like 
he wasn't black at all. It didn't do anything for black people. And black people voted him in twice. It's a deep thing because, you know, okay, when you think about it, it's really deep because, you know, when I, I, I see it as a classism thing, I guess the best example for me is what's happening in India. With the caste system? There is a classism, but, but then there's, there's a, a casteism. Yeah. And the casteism is about race. The casteism is about race. shade. It's, it's about, about shade. shade of color. If they're, if you're as dark as me, you're a certain caste. If you're as light as you, you're a certain caste. I ain't that light. I'm not getting on camera, but I ain't that light. <laughs> He's a light. I'm but just joking. We're going to put up my African DNA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, we're I'm, not going to talk about that. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but um so um it's a caste system over there and it oversees the the the, the classism okay. it don't matter if you have a whole bunch of money if you're dark skin in india you're nothing it does it that's true they have a caste system in india and i believe that it is the people that, that, that get treat, mistreated the most over there are definitely the darkest. And that's everywhere, though. That's it's everywhere. That's but everywhere. That, 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 and, and in Africa, we're all black. And that's black people that are, apparently aren't doing right by other black people. And so that's where it... it that's where I say maybe it's, it's the way we see ourselves. We, we hate ourselves. I mean, we don't like ourselves right now. I mean, the fact that everyone else hates us... Is it because we hate ourselves, we don't love ourselves, that everyone else hates us? Or is it because they don't love us, that we hate ourselves? I mean, you know what I mean? What, what comes first? What, the, the chicken ch or the egg? egg? Chicken or the egg, well, you know? What I came think, first? If we look at the solution, you can't control how anybody else feels about you. But if we love ourselves... We will drive we see it. We will if we can change we, it. Most people say it don't matter. If we love ourselves. That doesn't mean anything. Blah, 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 blah. But what if we really did value our lives to the point where we didn't kill our own brothers and sisters, and then we really stood on it? We have to see what kind of difference that would make in our community. I mean, we've tried everything else. We tried everything else. We tried, I mean... People just like, okay, well, let us just kill we, each other. We tried hating each, each other. We yeah, tried, that, you know, we tried work. a whole bunch of stuff. The only thing we haven't tried was unity. True unity. True unity. Even, even when you look at the people that were, even during the civil rights movement, you look at the people that was close to King, mm -hmm. and you look at the people that was, some of the people that was close to Malcolm, even some people that were standing on the front roster from the day that he was assassinated mm -hmm. were sellouts even the people that some of the people that was up there with king when he got shot were sellouts jesse jackson took his shirt dipped it in martin luther king's blood and said that martin luther king told him to carry on the struggle who would even be thinking about something like that when your man just got taken out somebody as great as martin luther king wow jesse but this is the <laughs> this is the type of stuff this is that if, that ruins our community why is he doing that because he wants to be the next dr king he wants to be so the next this guy is our biggest thing and that's, what, and, that, and that's why we we have a lot of tribal wars too because everybody wants to be all these kings but no you know and this it wants to be the next guy in the power play you know i think that europeans when they came to to africa they saw a gold mine literally in some places we had a whole gold coast yeah what happened to all of that that wealth all of that gold we, all of that we don't we didn't we, value we it just like we don't value ourselves today we don't we, have real we, gold, we don't value you know? we don't value our talents we don't value our skills we don't value each other black men don't value the black woman and the black black parents don't value their children we don't value ourselves and the same way the gold i guess like you mentioned the gold and the things that they go and they went to take we didn't value they didn't we didn't value our lives we were selling each other exactly and see if we didn't put ourselves in that position i mean there were some fights now i want to get this clarified because i always get a whole bunch of people that come on here and say hey you know there were a lot of people that fought 
And, and I and I found out that the people in Gambia, I don't care how docile they, they look right the, now. They raised hell. Them Senegambians, oh my goodness, they raised hell. They fought the, the biggest, the heart, the most resistance came from that region. Shout I'm very the, proud to say that um that's in my DNA. But <laughs> shout out to the Gambia. Shout out to the Gambia. Shout out to all of Africa. There, but, there were yeah. there were slave raids. There right. were things like that that took place. But think about it. We're on a on a continent. All in like the general area right. of West Africa. We don't know each other's languages. Right. We're not unified. We we selling you off to foreigners. Right. Stuff like that. So that's you know. You know what the the funny thing is is um the funny thing is is that um until we come to a place where we could really come to terms with um and I think what Eric said was oh really I hope we can bring him on here uh, one day so you can see how beautiful he is but the the one thing that I noticed the one thing that I have noticed with our people is our inability to realize that the true our true power is unity and love if we can if we can bring those 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 uh principles together and if we can understand that you know we have to weed out the sellouts period once we weed out the sellouts, I think we'll be good. It's funny because somebody was talking about the Haitian Revolution. The first thing that they did was weed out, was the, sellout. weed out the sellouts. The sellout leadership is what hurts us the most. I mean, I guess if you sellout have... Sellout mentality. There, there is um, a mentality that some of our people have where they don't love themselves. They, and they, they make you feel like you know, because this one brother reached out to me on Facebook. He said, "You're in America. You know, you know. Stop making these videos about coming to Africa. You don't know how lucky you are. You don't want to be down here. That's um, uh, um, Africa is um, is for poor people. You're you're in a place. You have so much wealth. You would be dumb to come down here. You know. And, I mean, and it just broke my soul that he said that because he 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 is trying to come here because he thinks that life is going to be so great here." If I was there, I probably would be trying to come here too. It's all about perspective, you right. know. At different times, that's an individual journey thing. Right. I, I've met people that's like I met. I have two friends that live in um, the Metro Atlantic area. One lives in Jersey. One lives in Philadelphia. Two places where they left California. I always wanted to go to California. Right. They left the Los Angeles area and came to cities that are. That I would be like, uh, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want to live there. Right. But that's what they needed in their in their lives. And then you got other people like me that would leave from Baltimore and go to places where where they are. You know what I mean, where they come from, because of the time period in their life. So whatever he's going through is probably a thing that's America. personal to him. But you got people that are happy where they are. Look at the sister African Tigers. She looks like she don't ever want to leave Africa. Had opportunities to leave. And didn't go. That's not the story of most Africans. They get the opportunity to get out and some leave. But the perspective is the, comes down it's to the your perspective. Perspe it's, your, it's, it's, it's your perspective and your understanding. And I also think it's education. It's knowledge. Because it, most of them come here thinking, you know, when they see white people, Eric, they see them as saviors. They see them as angels. They see them as these intelligent beings that if they could just go live and be around them that they can be themselves different yeah. so you have to keep that in mind too it's it's a it's a mental you know i also think that that had a lot of impact control. that had a lot of impact on you know we were talking about the transatlantic slave trade mm -hmm. that had a lot of impact too Seeing that white skin for, them, that for some of them, it hey, was like, they probably thought those people were gods. Like they've come to judges, they've come to like some of them fought, but some of them that didn't fight probably thought these people were like, as you know, coming from the uh, the, the the heavens. And especially they came. Some of them came with their Bible. They, you know, they bought the Bible, and um, was teaching them. You know, a lot of people converted to Christianity. And Muslim, and you know the Muslim faith. This is how they got us. I truly believe they took away our roots. They took away our culture. Well, I'll say I'll say this in fairness. 
I don't with Islam that had a lot to do with the, the uh, Saharan slave trade or whatever a lot of those people that converted to Islam definitely participated in the slave trade I would say that African spirituality while it's our roots didn't seem to stop our brothers and sisters from selling slaves the Christian people that converted to Christianity I don't know the history enough to know if any Christian states like people like states that or countries that turned no, it's into funny that you mentioned that I was researching they, that today if they sold slaves under the name of Christianity yes they did they used the Bible to do it interesting see I didn't know that. yes they did I'm happy you brought that up because I was looking at that that was gonna be what the show was gonna be about but I haven't done enough research because I wanted we, to know I, what was Christianity role in slavery the and African Christians no no the same the, the Christians that were in Africa were converted by the Christians that went in that boat. Right, no, I know that. But I'm just saying, I wonder, I wonder what the... Like, okay. They play a part. Remember when I found my um my relative in, in Ghana? Ghana? Yeah, in Ghana, yeah. Remember what I found out about my great-great-great-great-grandfather? Oh, that he participated in... He was he was learning. He, he had become a Christian from the Ga uh, tribe. They converted him to be a Christian. And they that had them working... Christ. You know them them dungeons? Yeah. Where they had the slaves? They had them working in them. Exactly. They were bringing, they were basically teaching them that this was going to be good for you. So we have to find out. <laughs> so what, what that's is the, the, that's what, what their is, part was. What they were studying prior to the transatlantic. <laughs> no, no, the what, who were our gods? Who prior were to our the gods? Muslims yes. bringing the, the Islam. Yes. But I also want to know. Where did that leave room in for them to be selling slaves? If the, if this was done under their natural religion, or if this was done only under religion, let me. To the I'm gonna play. De I'm not. I'm gonna play um, Africa's advocate right now. <laughs> I was gonna say devil's advocate, but no, Africa's no, advocate right now go. to say um, indentured servitude was something that was happening all over the world. And and and, and if you look and then, before you respond, think of India. Think of Europe. Think of China. Think of everywhere. This was, did not start in Africa. It was. It well, was. Everything would have started in Africa. No, no. Well, well you're right. You're right. Everything. So I agree with you on that because I want to get. That's <laughs> that's the fact. But um, indentured servitude was something that was happening across across the world. It was wrong, but it was done at a level where this person would work for you for up to seven years, and then they would become free. Or if you was at war and you captured somebody instead of killing them, you made them work for a certain amount of time. I'll say this, because I feel really passionately about it. Okay. I'll say this. There's a group of people called the Essenes that existed. Essenes. And, yeah, they they existed. Is this a white race? I mean, they were Jewish. I don't believe they were Hebrews. I don't believe the Hebrews to be white. I look at the Hebrews. I mean, you black. you believe they were true Hebrews right, or the true black Hebrews, Hebrews black. black Hebrews that okay. lived in the in the Mediterranean area. Mm-hmm. Um, right off the, the coast of the mm -hmm. Dead Sea. Now, they're one of the few, few groups that I know of throughout history that completely looked at slavery as evil. And I agree with their stance. I think that by us having that system... I have to system, do some research on that because even the in the Hebrew, in the Bible, it talks about right, but servants. They, but they had servants in the Bible. Yeah. But they, as a group, spoke out against slavery and its existence completely. And we have to call it differently. I believe there's slavery and I believe there's servitude I think that I think there's indentured servitude and then I think there's what they did to us was not even just slavery it was kidnapping it was it was awful but I look was, at it like this it was all kinds you of stuff you should treat other people the way you want to be treated I wouldn't want to be in any form of that Let me whether it's you. the quote unquote good slavery that happened under the Africans or the, the horrific things that, that the Europeans did you go and, to war question you go to war you catch a couple of people i'm taking no captives okay this goes back to that <laughs> conversation we I'm had a couple. this goes back to a conversation i had <laughs> with him the other no day captives. he thinks the um the ruling for all things should be death so that's so. just his opinion <laughs> if you took a chew, if you spit a chewing gum <laughs> on the street of rwanda <laughs> Because <laughs> Rwanda's got the cleanest streets in Africa. Oh, <laughs> shout out, shout out oh, to Paul me. Might, me. Might get off with your head. <laughs> he said, <laughs> if you spit a, chew, a piece of gum on his Paul Kagame streets <laughs> of Rwanda, 
You should be put to I'm, death. That's I'm just saying, his opinion. I'm not buddy. saying that. I don't believe it like that. No. Y'all, this is but what I'm, I'm dealing saying, with. I'm not taking any no. I'm not taking any captives. <laughs> I don't want nobody to work for me or none of that kind of stuff. So, okay. So if you, if they. There's okay, different there's le- different le- there's levels to this thing Eric. There's levels, but that system made way the system of addiction services. I agree. Was the baby brother to the big slavery. I, so we didn't have I we agree. didn't have the first one. But I think what you said first was the reason it was greed. Those white people came there with greed. It was greed, but if we if you want to kidnap people and make them work for you, that's also greed too because that's free labor. Even if you're only getting it for Ooh. 7 years and you're not raping the women and having a whole institute and raping them. I don't you think know. I don't know if that's the fact about them kidnapping people. I know that they would go to war. No, I'm saying they, I know they would kid yeah, And for, then in war, this is have, how you do it. You have work to take for you. over certain territories you would have to take over the people too so they wouldn't keep fighting you and you would have to break them down it's a it's a way it's a methodology to breaking people down but if we had unity this stuff wouldn't have happened you're right that's what and we were missing what, this but is what was this is what this set is, up the stage okay. this this unity and having this system of servitude when we're used to taking you captive and selling you off to another tribe it didn't just happen in africa the europeans it's wrong everywhere everywhere it was it. at that time just like at this time right now everybody's on Facebook at that time everybody was warring but for land everybody was warring the Europeans had war amongst them amongst themselves as well but if we if we didn't do that and if we shun slavery completely and we shun all of these institutions completely and we unify that's the only thing that we can really ever have that will prevent this from happening again okay because if they would have showed up on the shore and Africans wanted to get down to business and they weren't killing each other and enslaving each other or having these little squirmishes, as soon as them white people showed up on the shore, they would have killed them right there. You know, and I, th- think, they, I think they were afraid. Not, I, they had never seen people without skin before. It would have been like seeing ghosts. Could I, you imagine? I understand it, but if they were unified, they could have dealt with it. Right then and there, as soon as they showed up on the shore... Hey, you guys, I want said, you in the comments. Tell me what you think. They either Because could've. my opinion is that they were kind of good people i think black people i think we in general are good people just like when columbus showed up to right he said basically to Haiti? Men, <laughs> to, to, yeah, you he, know, said the, 50, he said it looks like they know no war they have no swords made of iron they touch my sword and they cut their hand this is how ignorant they are with 50 men we can subjugate because they, all of them. they knew no war they, it was a matter of we won now you're our slaves for seven years okay people probably wasn't even fighting back they was like oh I lost oh well, I'm enslaved you know that being said the way we probably went to war was much different than how they were bringing the war you know what I mean so I, 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 I think they had guns they had they, they didn't had have guns until but, they brought the guns over but we as if we were you know, think about it like this you had whole ships like Amistad that got rocked and turn, had to turn back like ships had to turn back around. Now think about it. People on these ships, I don't know if they, if Amistad was just a lucky occasion where they had a bunch of people that spoke the same language, but on most of these ships, people didn't speak the same language. Well, you know what? My and, African brothers and sisters set us right. If we are if we got this all wrong, let us know. Yeah. But, most of the people on these ships, historically, were from different tribes. They couldn't communicate with each other. Right. Now, maybe Amistad was an exception and they just took a bunch of synagogues. It was definitely an exception. They took a bunch That's of that day. And, yeah. I mean, it was an exception, but we don't know how they were able to, if, if it was just a bunch of brothers that was from different places that weren't right. having it. Right. Or if that time they just took too it's many a good, people from it's the a same good thing place. to find out where those people were from but they probably was from Gambia well you know those are Gambians I mean I did some history on them too many you guys that. check it out the home team he talks about the uh, um, Senegambian region and how they fought the fierce fight and it's funny because a lot of people are saying that the Gambians are docile now home team channel is still dope. water runs deep be careful yeah, yeah <laughs> home team channel is dope he, he goes into a lot yes, of that history do. but you but, know, um, you know, okay, so that's this the being power said, of unity. we can't, our ancestors did what they could do with what they had. I think we have a lot more now. They did. We have to learn from their mistakes so that we learn to communicate on the, the, the one advantage that we have now, thanks to colonialism and slavery, is that we actually communicate in the same language. And the only reason why we're able to communicate with each other, really, unfortunately, 
is because of slavery and so colonialism. Bab- that, that building Babylon, the, the great mountain Babylon <laughs> is tumbling down. We're yeah, all so now, we're not Babylon, we're all, all, all could understand this language. Unfortunately, it's, you know, it's not our language, and we, we might need to come up with a universal African Well, tongue. keep this one. I, I hear people say that all the time, like, you know, whatever. I think we earned the right to keep this all over the world, you know. We have earned the right to keep it, absolutely, you no know? doubt. Um, but um, I think that eventually, going back to what I was saying, it's going to be a matter of how we see ourselves. We have to we have to see ourselves in a, in a higher light. And you we know, have I'm to a student those. of Abraham Hicks. I truly believe that we have to manifest it. We have to eliminate those devil those uh, I don't know what the four deadly sins are or whatever it's like envy, lust, jealousy, greed, something like that. We have to really eliminate all of those, especially from people in leadership. Because once they're able to get people that are in leadership to sell out which is seems to be what happens with a lot of these like the cycle will happen in a lot of African countries it'll be like they'll have a bad leader then it'll be like a military coup with somebody that is well intentioned then he'll get into the leadership but then he'll start doing the same thing that the last guy did and then they'll have another coup and then it'll be another guy that's maybe well intentioned so we, and it'll be we the should same be wary thing. of people that want to be leaders because usually if they want to be a leader it's because they want control power and power and and those are the kind you look vote for people that don't want to be in leadership you know get them to be in leadership because it seems like those of us that choose to to run for these elections and everything else is just power and like eric said greed yeah. We really need we really need to get to a place where um the people the people have the power. The people have make the uh, conditions and uh the people. We the people have to uh make some decisions on how we're going to move forward. Um one thing that I agree on is it's the greed and it's ego. Like yeah. We have to be able to see other people do well. And understand that if they do well, I do well. We have to see things that way. I think that's our greatest thing. Like other, like you know, what's the difference between us and China? Let's say China went through a lot, and look what they did in such little time. They put their people to work. Look at what, Tom, what I think Thomas Ankara in his four years of, of power gave us our greatest blueprint because he's like, y'all want train tracks? We're not bringing nobody in from China to build no train tracks. We're going to build train tracks. You want rice? We're not importing no rice from China. You're going to do the rice. You want clothes? We're not importing no clothes from America or from Europe. You're going to make your own clothes. And in that short period of time, that's why he had to be killed. In that short period of time, he made that country self, self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. And there's enough resources on that continent that that continent could be self-sufficient every country could be pulling something out of it you know and trading with another trading country another, with another country we could be perf- you know uh Ghan- ghana could be the best at growing fruits you know this place they could be the best at growing vegetables and this place could be the best at, grow- at making see furniture the land in ghana i get they, hungry because it's so oh green. my god that that land, that land, that is, land so is just, that, just oh it's beautiful it's like oh man i could grow yeah a million farms yes so that being said he has left us <laughs> got a call but um i hope you guys enjoyed the conversation i'm not going to stay on here too much longer i do want to close out to say you know um in actuality uh what this was about was me talking about how i feel like we need to uh start manifesting what it is that we want to see we have to start seeing it we have to start believing in it we have to look at our brothers and sisters even when they're not doing well you know um look for the good and um let's 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 take our power back intentional intention intentionality or, or is is everything we have to have the intention to win we have to have the intention to be to succeed in our endeavors and we have to see we have to believe that we are capable of doing things you know um without all of that we're not going to we're not going to do it and we have to see it for each other and um yeah 
uh, going back to some something else we talked about whenever whenever we ha whenever we uh, you know have to deal with sellouts or anything like that we have to do it you can't have uh, people around that um, mean you no good um, so it's time to clean up house guys we gotta we gotta take the initiative because this um, hate that we're facing from all the other races um, it's sad to admit that we're 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 a big part of that we um we hate each other even more so and um i feel like like i said earlier you know how when a dog walks in a room and he, you know he it fixates on a certain individual because it could tell that that person is afraid of him that ha that person is not confident so the dog immediately starts to bark and may even attack that person because they're like okay why are you nervous you don't feel confident this dog is not going to let you through this dog is going to give you a hard way and this is how uh, we are being dealt with by other races because we're not a confident people it's time to turn that table guys again I want to thank you for uh, joining uh, uh, watching uh, <laughs> subscribing subscribe guys subscribe share the channel let's join let's grow this channel I want to start some discussions get you guys on board um, I really enjoy that um, again I want to thank you you, thank you thank you I noticed that I had a couple of more subscribers uh, this week I'm really excited to say I'm at 400 this is great uh, keep it black y'all keep it black <laughs>